It's summer. And it's hot. Sounds like the perfect time for some homemade ice cream. We're going to show you how to make homemade ice cream in less than a minute. Ice cream usually takes at least two and a half hours to make. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we're gonna show you how to make it in 30 seconds with dry ice. Dry ice is super cool because it is the solid form of carbon dioxide. It's literally super cool. It's used for preserving frozen foods or for making fog at Halloween. It has a frigid surface temperature because carbon dioxide freezes at negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. This makes that extreme cold and it makes it dangerous to handle without protection. Today, we're gonna make some instant ice cream using a block of dry ice, along with some heavy whipping cream, condensed milk, and vanilla extract. Also, make sure to do this in a well-ventilated area, as the CO2 from dry ice is heavier in the air and can concentrate in enclosed spaces. I don't wanna suffocate today. No, that's not a good thing. No. Not a good time. First, combine the ingredients together into a mixing bowl. I'm gonna mix these ingredients together in this big bowl. Beautiful. Before we get to the super fun part, safety first. Safety goggles, heavy work gloves. Now, place the dry ice in a clear bag and hammer it to smithereens. Be careful not to touch it and try and seal it most of the way, but not all the way, because we're gonna get the air out of there. And then we're gonna just <laughs> Ooh, break beautiful. it. It's important to get it into a powder. You don't wanna eat any of the chunks. That would be bad, and it would burn your esophagus. Okay, so now that it's all smashed up, we can get rid of these. Yep. I'm gonna hand you this. You literally just pour it right into the mixing bowl, but do it carefully. And, and slowly. Slowly. We did a good job with this, this snow powder here. This Pull that is... whisk out. Ah! Beautiful. Ah! That is an ice cream whisk. <laughs> I kind of just want to eat it right off of that, but that's unsafe. No, you want to wait for all the vapor to disappear. So let's get the spoon here. Beautiful. Ice cream. All right, so while we wait for the vapors to dissipate on this guy, let's talk a little bit about what just happened. Dry ice breaks down through the process of sublimation, the direct transition from solid to gas, so there's no liquid involved. At normal pressure, CO2 moves straight between a gas and a solid. Liquid CO2 only occurs at much higher pressures, like the inside of a fire extinguisher. The vapor, or fog you see, is because of its cold temperature. When the water gets colder than 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, the dry ice stops making the fog, but continues to bubble. So, with the broken down dry ice, the ice cream ingredients freeze really, really fast without turning into a liquid first. This results in this ice cream-like consistency. It's great, but, you know, I could use a topping, right? Well, how about we use the rest of the dry ice to make some cherry sprinkles? I love that idea. Freeze those Beautiful. cherries up, let swirl that around. So now that we've let them freeze just for a little bit, we're gonna smash them with this little mallet here. Ah! Put some sprinkles on top. That looks delicious! Voila, ice cream. I'm so excited. Cheers. Oh my God, it's mm. so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, I want more. See, science is both fast and tasty. And as a reminder, be very careful when handling dry ice. It can damage your skin if you touch it directly. Do not taste or eat the dry ice. Wait for the vapors to things. Get away. It's bad. Don't eat it. It'll give you frostbite on your esophagus. You don't want it. No, that just sounds really painful. Mm -hmm. Be safe. Thanks for watching DNews Labs. Let us know what your favorite ice cream is down in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Mmm. Ha <laughs> ha. Cherries. Really good. Cherries is the mm -hmm. best part. Mm -hmm.